Welcome to the Nova Chamber Music Series. My name is Jeff Counts, and I am thrilled to be your host for this concert. If you've been to live Nova concerts in the past, you know that you are in for a kaleidoscopic treat, featuring diverse voices from across the compositional spectrum. We start today with Greek-French composer Yanis Xenakis, though not necessarily with sounds of his you've heard before. This work, which translates roughly as two folk musicians, dates from 1952 when he was a student in Paris. I've often said that you can tell a young composer by his or her mentors, and that's certainly true here. You do hear Greek folk music here, but the steady influence of Bella Bartok and Zoltan Kodai is also very apparent. <laughs> Thank you. 
We move next to the music of Pulitzer Prize winning composer Kevin Putz. This American artist created the work Arches in the year 2000. Arches relates to the form of the work. It's a succession of caprices and arias, structured like caprice, aria, caprice, aria, caprice, an arch. And for Kevin, this was supposed to explore the polarity between virtuosity and lyricism. I think you'll hear in Madeline Atkins' performance both of those things very clearly. Thank you. 
Next, we have a contrasting pair of works for solo clarinet by iconic American composers Joan Tower and Margaret Brower. The first piece by Joan Tower is entitled Wings, and it is supposed to depict the flight and life of a large bird, in Joan's words, perhaps a falcon, written for a dear friend of hers, Laura Flax. Next, Brower's piece, No Rotary Phone, is a satirical monologue about the frustrations of dealing with automated phone calls. Both pieces are a delight and are beautifully presented by Aaron Svoboda.
Well, I guess I'll practice. <laughs> I'll try again. It's ringing. Please listen carefully as our menu has changed. Thank you for calling the Department of Workforce Services, Utah Unemployment Insurance Division. If you know your party's extension, please press 9. If you are calling about your unemployment claim or a benefit overpayment, please press 1. If you are... initial and reopen unemployment claims must be filed online at jobs.utah.gov. For help filing your claim online, please use our live chat feature during regular business hours. All lines are busy. Please stay on the line and your call will be answered in the order it was received. Fair today with little chance of rain. And now, stay tuned for the 10 o'clock Classics Hour. important to us. what you are calling about today. Um, where's my check? I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Please hold for a representative. <laughs> Hello, may I help you? Haha, <laughs> yeah, right, real person. <laughs> Hello, may I help you? Oh wait, are you a real person? Yes, I am. How may I help you? Oh, I'm looking for my, my check, the status of my check today. Oh, for that you need a different extension. Hold on, I'll transfer you. We close out our virtual performance today with Beethoven's 30th piano sonata, Opus 109. This dates from 1820. This was the time of the Ninth Symphony, Misa Solemnis, Beethoven at the absolute height of his powers. The final three sonatas, of which this is the first, were all experimentations in form. Take special notice of the theme and variations, a form which Beethoven stretches and tests to great effect. <laughs> 